Hello everyone, I'm at TechCon SoCal 2025 event and I'm here with Susan Akbarpour. Hello Susan. Hi, How are thanks you? for inviting me. Great. Well, Susan, I know that you are closely tracking the AI space, which is rapidly evolving. What are some of the trends and use cases uh, you believe will have the most impact? Yeah, um, well, um, first of all, I must say that there's no um, uh, there's uh, not a day that we don't get at least a few pitches, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes from the same startups that they pitched to us a few years ago, uh, calling themselves uh, blockchain or metaverse driven uh, technologies. And now they just changed the jersey and they call themselves AI driven whatever. Uh, honestly, um, I just lose my interest right there uh, because for, for us, it's important to um, to see what kind of problems they're solving and how AI can accelerate or scale um, that problem solving process. So um, we're getting a lot of AI driven pitches, but the ones that are, I'm more uh, excited about uh, are not um, chatbots, um, image recognition, facial recognitions. I feel that those areas uh, are have become commodity um, by major or large players um, or data analytics, for example. Um, and there's no, there's not that much of differentiation uh, between what the startups, a startup can do, and what the major players are already uh, uh, commoditizing. Uh, so the ones that I'm Getting excited uh, is uh, using leveraging AI in healthcare, especially in diagnosis. Um, I feel the fight with cancer uh, is almost over, uh, leveraging AI. And if we don't die for another couple of years, probably we never die. <laughs> So uh, that is a very interesting area. Um, Co-pilots, AI, uh, co-pilots. Um, everything that we have, it can be accelerated. Uh, those, uh, the user experience, the processes, um, the uh, big data uh, that we're analyzing. Um, that is uh, that is a good area uh, to look into. Um, and, uh, and they can sit on top of, uh, uh, as a layer or middleware, um, on top of um, legacy infrastructures. Um, also infrastructure, AI infrastructure, chip design. Um, in fact, we have invested uh, in a very promising startups um, that is uh, using AI in semiconductor. Um, and also um, AI edge. Um, to sitting uh, to use AI on devices, uh, IoT devices, uh, mobile phones, and that accelerates privacy of the of the users and their data, and also decrease the latency. So those are the areas that I'm very excited about. Great, and I know that you are managing partner at Kendo Ventures, mm -hmm. and you have been helping many startups as as a board member. Yes. So what general advice you are giving to the founders in terms of things to prioritize or pitfalls to avoid? Yeah, um, one thing that uh, we really, all the entrepreneurs and VCs, uh, and even <laughs> I'm actually uh, talking to my teenage uh, daughters, and I say the only thing that you really need to excel is curiosity and self-learning because pretty much everything around us has been invented, as my professor in the Stanford, Professor Grosbeck said uh, in one of our classes once. It's a matter of putting uh, the right solutions to um, to achieve a new applications. So before I was asking the entrepreneurs before starting something, because everyone they're starting their pitch with, this is a disruptive, unique, the next unicorn technology. They don't know that I've received seven other pitches with the same <laughs> modo starting uh, for the last week or so, right? So all the VCs are receiving all these similar uh, pitches from others. So be curious. Uh, before I was saying, uh, I was uh, advising them, just do Google search. Now I say that just put it in ChatGBT or Ninja Tech, our portfolio company, which is uh, the ChatGBT uh, 3.0 uh, or on the steroid. Just search and say that what are the companies who have been working in this field? And, you know, just like do a thorough competitive analysis. For me as a VC, when an entrepreneur comes to me and I see that they don't know who are the competitors, who are the large players, what they've done, 
that's the case of death mm -hmm. so that pitch and that presentation right there uh, before we ask that question about how your competitors are doing and what they've done or have you seen these products or solutions or technology they should let us know how they differentiate with others and they've done their homework so i guess that is uh that is a number one requirement for me you are an inspiration for women in tech okay. what advice you will share with girls who are considering careers in tech well uh unfortunately uh, the culture is not pushing the women uh, to stem as much uh, especially in the united states uh, we see in other countries for example the country that i'm coming from um 60 percent of uh, the uh, women in higher education they are attracted to a uh, stem we are not working on our daughters and sisters and 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 uh, women in our families as much or we we don't incentivize them or encourage them to go to stem um we should do that more often first of all and um and also, uh, when they when they go to that uh, that career, they need to know that um, there's not that much of difference between men or women in a STEM in terms of career entrepreneurship investing. Uh, we are just using different lingo. Our concepts are different. The way that we're operating uh, is different. And there's no good and bad. Both. Uh, both mindset and boy, both uh, type of types of operations needed to create uh, uh, the best solutions and technologies. We just need to learn how to um, how to speak the male. Uh, dominated industries uh, lingo and uh, what is important for men like for example I'm um, talking about focus uh, women's brain has been uh, structured the way that we can sift through complexity but if you want to bring that complexity to the presentations we lose the interest of that VC or that hiring manager or whoever is there well we're working with a female that's totally fine because to women focus especially now in the modern age when we have the uh, opportunity to process uh, um, oceans of data uh, even myself i'm guilty as charged focus to me is that dusted typewriters cool. uh, writer in the uh, in my attic um how come you can work for the same company for 30 years, report to the same bus, work on the same project? The new uh, era is allowing us to be diverse, to um, unfold many things on an everyday, you know, the, 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 the analysis and optimization of the information is just uh, opening uh, so many doors to us today. Focus is somehow gone. You see that there are in big companies like Microsoft, for example, they're hiring people with autism because they can sift through complexities and they don't have focus. So we need to just understand how we're going to translate our mode of uh, mode of operetta for the male uh, parties in uh, front of us. Um, and I'm pretty sure that if men go uh, to women to pitch um, HRs or VCs or uh, uh, vendors and customers, they also need to try to unfold things more instead of because they, they I mean, when we're hearing them, we may feel like they are very superficial. So when they are dealing with women, they need to unfold things more and, you know, offer more details. <laughs> well said. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed that. Thank you.